Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions to Unbound Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to visualize this our data that contains the um, temporal characteristics of um, rainfall within this area in um, Power BI. So we have the Power BI window here. The first thing we are going to do is to um, create um, a blank report. Then from that blank report, we can add them um, data to our report. So we import data from Excel. Now we have um, a folder called Power BI subfolder visualize point. Now the data we have stored is actually in um, CSV. So it's not directly native to Excel. So we just um, click drop down, select them um, all files, and then we have the data underscore temporal. And then we try to open it good so this is an overview we have the we have the longitude we have the latitude we have the year the rainfall value and then the date right good so you can see the delimiter to be common all of that so we can load now the data has been loaded if we come to this table view we are going to see the coordinates alongside the rainfall values and the different years now if we come back to the report view what we need is um, to visualize using a map so first off you need internet connection and then another thing is that there is a particular settings when you come to file you go to options and then um, settings then you click on options now under security you need to ensure that map and field map visuals are checked so you can see that you can uncheck it and then you can also check it so maybe when you're trying to start it up the first time this can be unchecked so you ensure that it's what it's checked so that um, you can use the map services so you click on ok when that has been fixed you come to click on map as a visualization then you see that the map window is up so you can just decide to drag and then extend it or you can also use this um, zoom feature here to see how to maybe increase or reduce as the case may be. Now under the visualization, the different fields that you want to use to visualize are here. Remember the data we saw from the table view, we can also use this drop down to show the different fields we have on our data, right? Good. So under the visualization fields, if we scroll, we are going to see points. We are going to see a field for latitude. And then you know the latitude is what your Y coordinate. So you just drag that and then you drop that there. Then your longitude is what your X. So you also drag that and then you drop that there. So when you have done that, you can now easily visualize your data here using this particular visualization tool on a Power BI. The next thing to note is that you can still modify what you see here. The bubbles here can be increased, their sizes can be increased, they can be reduced. The base map can also be changed, right? Good. So now let's see. If you come to format your visual, you are going to see the map settings. If you use the drop down, you are going to see what the style of the map. This is wood. If you use the drop down, you're going to see area that gives you more like um, a Google kind of view, right? Good. Now there are other options, right? Good. You can see dark. That's not too good. So basically, you can decide to stick with what the roads or the area. Now showing labels, you can decide to uncheck that. So the labels on your base map doesn't show. And then if you keep it back checked, the labels are showing. That's for the style. Now, if you come down to the bubbles, which are these um, blue bubbles that you can see used to visualize our data point, you can actually increase or maybe reduce their sizes depending on what your preference, right? Good. So let's keep it um, back to um, the 10 that we saw. We saw about minus 10, so we can just make it minus 5. So the colors 
can also be changed instead of having them as blue you can change the color to something that satisfies your presentation curiosity then having done that you can also create what it maps maybe if you are showing some intensity points maybe some points that um um, shows intensity you can use what the heat map to show the intensity at different points right good so these are some stuff let's see the options so the options are for the heat map maybe the radius if you want to increase it or reduce it so you can see that as we reduce it they are getting a bit fainter maybe if we try to increase it they are getting more pronounced right good so that's the region of impact of maybe those points so these are different visualization techniques still under visualizing with what your maps so before we leave come to general see the properties this shows you the size of this particular displayer then this shows you the positioning this shows you if the title is on or off can see point underscore y point underscore x that actually represents our title so if we uncheck that you see that it's gone right good so these are some stuff that you can use to modify the visualization of your points in power bi using the coordinates now you can also check the filters the filters help you to reduce your data points by maybe some criteria now we have the rainfall values that um, ranges from let's say we have 4832 if we decide to just sort okay this is ascending we have about 3592 and if we take this to descending we have 5468 right so we have 3592 to 5468 so we can decide to strike a balance on 4500 that's the let's say somewhere in between those two values so if you now want to create a filtering or maybe a filter rather that sorts your data based on that particular criteria so what we want to use for the filter is the rainfall so we put it here and then we want to see rainfall values that are either less than less than or equal to greater than you know any of these conditions you decide to pick so let's say less than and then we select 4500 what this will help us do is that it is going to sort from this our data here to see the real four values that are less than 4500 and then those are the values that will be left on the display so we can apply and then there will be what a reduction in the what in the points that um, have been loaded on the power bi so we believe we have shown you or we have walked you through the process of how to um, visualize your latitude and longitude points on um, power bi's map visualization and then carry out a few modifications of what the data that we have visualized so we are going to make um, some subsequent videos on how to work with this tool even as um, geomatic engineers so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye